All right, hey YouTube, it's Retro. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make uh, some th um, wires, uh, some realistic wires in Photoshop. Uh, if you look on my channel, I have some wires on my uh, background channel that I will show you a, a little example of. As you can see right here, I've got my little um, realistic wires kind of going down the side of my channel. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make these. Uh, it's really simple, actually. Some people think it's like really hard and and all this stuff, but uh, it's really not that hard. So uh, let's get into the tutorial. Um, if we open up Photoshop, File New, or I guess you you know you could open up a YouTube uh, template if you wanted to put it on your YouTube template or something like that. I'm just gonna name it Wire Tutorial, and uh, everything should be set however you want. And uh, unlock the background. And uh, we're going to get our pen tool to start off here. Uh, you could hit P2 for the shortcut. And uh, we're just going to kind of click once. What we're going to do, we're going to click once. Actually, before we click once, we're going to make a new layer. So we have our new layer. We're on a blank layer. Uh, we're going to get our pen tool, click once on the screen, and then click again somewhere else. And then if you click and drag, you can see we have like this arc that we have going on. You can uh, set this arc however you'd like. And uh, I'm just going to kind of make it go in like a, a curvy S type um, little arc thing. Kind of like that. Kind of loop off like that. All right. So now that we have our kind of little arc going on or wire or however you want to call it, uh, however you have it, um, you could, if you wanted to uh, adjust these or add more, you can always add more uh, little dots if you wanted to. And then if you wanted to um if you wanted to move one you could get the little uh this little mouse tool and uh move these um whoops get the direct selection tool and you can uh uh whoops yeah if you get the uh tool you can move those around however you'd like but uh usually you just have it like that and uh, so once we have our wire here, we are going to um, go to our brush, and we're going to uh, select a basic brush, basic brushes, and uh, we're just going to have a, a circle, a basic circle brush um, with the size of uh, 10 is really nice. Size of 10 is really nice with a hardness of 100%. So uh, like this, um, like that. And then we're going to go back to our pen tool, come to our path, and uh, right-click on our path. And uh, then we're going to go to Stroke Path. And uh, we're going to need Brush for the uh, in the menu, and we're going to have Stimulate Pressure uh, checked. Hit OK, and that will stroke it, as you can see. Then we're going to right-click on our path again and hit Delete Path, so we don't have that little uh, thing going on on the path. So now we have our uh, basic crappy-looking wire right here. <laughs> Uh, now we're going to uh, pimp this out. We're going to pimp it up. So uh, we're going to come over to our layer properties of this wire layer. And uh, what we're going to add first, we're going to add a drop shadow. Change the distance to zero. Uh, this is all preference right here. Uh, I like to put mine. I'm going to have my spread at 15 and my size at 15. It looks nice. And... Uh, that's good for that. And then we're going to go to my bevel and emboss. And uh, change the depth all the way up to uh, 1,000%. The size uh, to about 3, 3. And the soften at 1. And then come down here to highlight mode and change that to normal. And then cha boost the opacity up to 100%. And then change the shadow mode to uh, norm the shadow mode to normal. And uh, boost that opacity up to 100%. And that'll give us a nice look in uh, bevel and emboss type deal going on. You could change the size however you'd like it to. Sometimes three. Some things look better than the other. I kind of like two better. Yeah, I'm going to go with two. And uh, next we're going to come down to uh, pattern. Now if you don't have these patterns, I have um, these installed um, on my um, Photoshop. You can download these for free. Um, I'm not sure where to download them. I'll have a GFX pack coming out soon with these in it. 
Um, so if you don't have one, just go to YouTube if you don't if you really want these. It really gives it actually a nice effect. And uh, type in um, type in like Photoshop um, pattern overlay something. <laughs> type in that. Uh, but I'm gonna choose uh, this one here and change it down to about 10 percent. It gives it a nice little uh, wire um, texture. Really nice. I'm gonna change it. Yeah, nine looks about good. And then um, you could change the color overlay, but if you do change the color overlay, you might want to change the opacity down to 50, so you can still see your uh, pattern overlay. So I'm just gonna change it to like a uh, dark blue. Looks nice. And then I uh, hit OK, and that is our uh, our wire. It's looking nice. I'll zoom in here more for you guys so you can see a little better. And uh, there it is. And um, I hope you guys like this little tutorial on how to make a realistic wire. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, message me. And again, the pattern overlay in the layer properties really does give it a, a really big boost of affection uh, I mean effect in the wire itself so guys I hope you like this tutorial by retro Sandman uh, please request some more tutorials um, so I can I will get them done for you uh, I think pretty soon I'm gonna make a box tutorial so like as you can see uh, on my channel right now there's like boxes on these 3d boxes on the side of my um, YouTube background. I made those in Photoshop from scratch, which are, they're not hard to make at all. Uh, these actually aren't my best. I'm probably going to redo this background pretty soon. But um, yeah, I'll probably make a tutorial on that very soon. So uh, keep a watch out for that. And please subscribe if you like my videos. And if this helped you out, please subscribe. Uh, thumbs it up. That'll help me get a lot, a lot more views on this uh, tutorial for other people, for other people's uh help and needs so guys retro sandman um and uh peace out